Hey everybody, welcome back to the third installment of our T-Ball Tips for Beginners. Uh, today's we're going to be going over throwing techniques. Uh, today we're going to be breaking that down into four different segments. First segment is going to be the grip of the ball. Second one is going to be the uh, targeting. Third is going to be the throw. And then lastly, a few drills that you guys can work on. Let's get to it. Okay, so time for the first segment. We're going to be working on how to grip the ball. He's going to reach into his glove and grab the ball. And notice how he grabs the ball. He grabbed it perfectly right there. Four fingers on top and one on the bottom. Once you get older, you'll be able to have three or even two fingers on top. And that's the traditional four seam. But that's the proper way to grip the ball. Now that we know how to hold the ball, now we're going to be practicing on how to target. The first thing he's going to do is make sure he looks directly at the target, right at the person's chest or a glove area. Next thing he's going to do is make sure that he takes the glove foot and just steps it a few inches forward. Now this is just building the fundamentals of how to uh, prepare to throw the ball. Now what I like to do to start the uh, pitch is he's going to be taking the hand, put it into the glove. Now notice he doesn't have a ball right now. We're going to actually practice without having a ball first. He's going to take his hand, he's going to first touch his thigh, and then he's going to make a big circle and he's going to show his hand to the sky and then back to his thigh. And that's one. So again, we're going to do it again. He's going to put his hand in the glove and he's going to pretend to have the ball. He's going to touch his thigh and then throw his big circle, hand to the sky, and all the way back to the thigh. Okay, now that we got the ball grip down and the targeting down, now we're going to practice the throw. So first has to make sure that he has that good grip on the ball. He grabs the ball, and now we're going to hit the thigh, show it to the sky, and then release. So he's going to, that same motion we did before, he's going to take the ball. He's going to go slow motion. He's going to tap his thigh. He's going to show the ball up to the sky. And then when he gets ready to release, he's going to move his hand forward a little bit just so it's about in line with his leg. And then he's going to release it forward. So there are the individual steps. So now we're going to do it fast. He's going to put the ball in his glove. And now he's actually going to throw the ball. He's going to take that little step with his foot. He's going to touch his thigh and quickly show the ball to the sky and release. Okay, there you go. There are a few tips to help you with being able to grip the ball, target, and throw it using that three-step method. As you practice, you get smoother and smoother. The best thing to do after you get that form down and have fun during the form is make it a game. There's a couple different things that you can do. One, you can use a rebounder like this. Always make sure that you have a target, something like that red square right there, in order to make sure that you can easily have that person find that target. Or you can always use your glove. So that's a fun way to do it. Um, if you're having a catch, still make sure that you're using your tennis ball because using a hard ball like that can sometimes make a little bit of a fear with the catch. So we want to make sure they feel nice and comfortable with that. And then the third thing is building on actually having that catch is try to make it a game. Start close, maybe about 10, 12 feet away. And each time you successfully catch it, try to take another step further. That'll also help build confidence and get a stronger arm. So I hope this three-part series on the basics of some t-ball catching, batting, and throwing was useful for you guys. See you when the season starts. Have a great one.